beautiful and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kira and if this is one of the first videos of mine that you're watching please hit the subscribe button down below as well as hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my future videos for today's video if you have followed me on Instagram you will know that I actually recently got my driver's license I got it last week Monday on the I don't even remember the date I think it was the 9th of November and so I thought that I should make a video all about how to kind of get your learners, first of all, because you have to get that, and how to actually get past the annoying thing that is the K53 driving of South Africa. The legal driving age in South Africa, if you didn't know, is 18. But you can start getting your learners when you turn 17, and then you can take lessons and take your drivers as soon as you turn 18. But I found matric to be quite difficult and quite jam-packed so I decided you know what I'm just gonna let my matric year just be for my studies and I also had a dance concert which happened which was really really big and so I had that and I graduated from education and human values um, because I am part of the Sri Satya Sai organization and so I just had a lot on my plate in my matric year and so I decided you know what when I get to university I will be able to get my license and have a good and better headspace. So I ended up getting my learners last year, July. I took my learners only once and it was not as bad as anyone really says. So the two biggest tips that I can get you, um, or tell you rather, for getting your learners is to get the K53 book. I will insert a picture right here. And basically this book has anything and every single rule that you can think of that will be used in South African roads, such as the science, how to take over, what are the specifications. So this book is extremely helpful. I studied this book as if I was going to write like a school test. So I even made, I know I sound so nerdy, but I made like actual study notes. I made cryptic notes. I did revision for it. And part of the revision which I did is I downloaded many K53 testing apps, which you can just get off your, I'm sure that's on the iStore, but I got it from the Google Play Store because I have an Android phone. And so I just did those tests quite a few times until I ended up getting 100% for every single one. So I just had my learners test a week late and I got it on the first try. Literally, the only tip that I can give you for getting your learners is literally to just study as if it's a test and revise 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 and yeah just use your test there's also some test revision things that are in the back of the k53 book which i spoke about previously so starting from that book and using your k53 apps will definitely help you get your license first run now moving on to what you actually came here for and that is getting your actual driver's license so I began driving lessons with an independent driving instructor last year, October, around the 15th of October. And for those of you who know, I unfortunately lost my grandmother at the end of October. And so I had already prepaid for 10 lessons and it's a non-refundable thing. So I said, you know what, I'm going to take two weeks off of driving, you know, because Indians have quite a lot of rituals to do when someone in the family passes away. And I said, OK, I'll take two weeks off to do all of those things and I'll get back into it. This lady, for one, I was doing manual, right? She probably gave me the worst experience. She did not make me feel comfortable. Number two, she refused to refund me back on the lessons that I had received and she made me extremely, extremely nervous. She did not make me feel confident as a driver and that's probably why at the end of the lessons that I was supposed to have, I did not feel like I can drive a car and the nervousness that I had when it came to driving a car was so bad that probably after every single lesson I would cry and I refused to do any lessons until I felt ready again and so I just left that I said you know what I have until 2021 July to get my driver's license because you have two years after you get your learner's license to get your driver's license and I said you know what when I feel ready I will go for it and then the pandemic hit and in September um, actually end of August I was like you know what I have quite a lot of free time on my hands and I was like let me take on another project you know to just kind of take my mind off of everything that was going on in the news and to give me something to work towards besides you know finishing my second year and 
I decided to go just for automatic. I was like, I'm not going to put myself through what I went with manual. I was completely put off it. And I was like, I really want to get my license. And in Joba, getting your manual license is kind of pointless because of the amount of traffic that there is. So I was just like, let me go for an automatic license. So I did, again, a package of 10 lessons. And I'm going to tell you guys to, if you live in the Joburg area, please, 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 go to AA Speedy. They are probably the best driving school in my personal opinion because I had one, the nicest instructor. He made me feel confident in any mistake that I made. He made me learn it no matter even if I made the mistake 50 times, he would repeat the same thing. He made me feel very comfortable to drive in any situation, even high traffic zones. And so yeah, by the end of my 10 automatic lessons, which I took throughout the span of September, I felt that I was ready to do my test, but I had quite a lot of assignments due, so I said, you know what, I will wait until the end of October to book my driver's lesson, I mean my driver's test, sorry, and so I booked at the Randburg Department Centre, and if you live in South Africa or Joburg nonetheless, you know that Randburg is notorious for kind of taking bribes and failing people on purpose to get more money when you pay for your driver's lesson um your driver's test but my first test went um well you know but i was caught off guard because i didn't know that they can split your left and your right side parallel parking and so that caught, caught me off of guard because i did everything and then i did my left parallel parking and then i did my three point and then my right side parallel parking and i got thrown off and unfortunately i hit the curb but i immediately booked my lesson for the following week and I ended up passing within like, I think my test was like half an hour. I only restarted my right side parallel parking once. And then thankfully my driving instructor just before my test took me on many different routes that could possibly ask for me to drive. And I'm so thankful because the route that I ended up going on for my test that I had passed, it was actually one of the routes that he took me on. So I knew where all of the potholes were. I knew where to stop i knew where to look properly i knew where to slow down and things like that so definitely definitely ask your driving school and your driving instructor to take you on the routes that might be asked of you in your driver's test and so once i actually had passed my license i came home and i am a very big prankster or joker in my family and so when I came home I told everyone that you know I basically failed it and I came up with this whole story and they all believed me which was really funny because I seriously didn't think that they were going to but they ended up doing that but my dad I think actually knew because he ended up getting a bottle of champagne for us to kind of celebrate with so my parents support in helping me you know feel more confident in my driving and also supporting me in my decision to go from manual to automatic and making sure that i didn't feel nervous when i drove and giving me their tips and things like that also really helped me to pass my drivers so that's kind of the story behind my driving experience but the tips that I would give you as a summary from what I just said is to one, get a really good driving school. AA Speedy is personally who I would recommend. They have people in um, Rudapurt. They have people in, I think, Brakpan. They have people in Randburg. And it just depends on where you are. They can definitely drive for you. It might just be a bit extra, but they always drive to you and they lend you the car for your test. So that is also really good they also afford a uh, very affordable um so yeah getting a really good driving school number two is on the day of your test to really really not be nervous at all i wasn't nervous per se until like um i messed up something then i'd get nervous but i really just enjoy your test because you need to remember that no matter how many times you fail you're gonna get your license eventually it's not like school where if you fail something you fail and then it goes on your record it's just you can do it even 15 times i have a person that i know that did it five times and now she's such a great driver and i did it twice and now i'm driving everywhere so it don't get scared about failing everyone has a different perspective so yeah don't put so much of pressure on yourself and then the third thing is you 
go on the different routes before you do actual tests just so you can see where the robots are stop signs where are the potholes where are the box junctions where should you slow down where the cameras are where the speed limits are so that you are very used to it when you get into the test another thing that you should be aware of as well is paying for your drivers afterwards and you know getting um, your temporary license and things like that can take a bit long so here's a clip of me i took like i think 45 minutes or so before i actually got the temporary license it just honestly depends on when you tend to go so the advice that i got from the department is that their busiest days are on thursdays and fridays so if you can try and avoid going for your driver's lessons um, i mean your driver's test or your learner's test on those time rather go on monday to wednesday slots and also try and get a time between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock as that's when i ended up doing my tests and that's where there wasn't a lot of traffic and weren't a lot of people so that also just helps you feel a bit less nervous for your test the other thing is that, yes, you can be a really great driver, but it really does depend on who your testing instructor is. In my first test, I did not have a very, um, not nice, she was really, she was nice, but she just didn't seem interested in being there. And anytime I would try to ask her any questions or talk to her, she just seemed really uninterested with life. So that made that like a bit not enjoyable experience. But the lady that I had for when I did pass my test, she was really, really sweet, very, very accommodating. She didn't make me nervous at all. Any questions or conversations that I tried to strike up with her to break the ice also like really went really well. She helped me if I didn't understand something the first time. So I really also do think that it's very dependent on your instructor. Again, you saw that I had a lady that wasn't really interested, didn't really help me versus the lady that was really nice, made me feel very comfortable and did help me. And that's the test that I ended up getting. And the other thing is to make sure that if you do fail one of your tests, that you do learn from your mistake. And for instance, I asked my first test instructor, you know, where was my fault? And she told me, and I made sure that in the second time that I did the test, that I didn't repeat that mistake. So definitely ask for pointers as to why you failed your first test. And the same thing goes with asking questions during your driving lessons. Trust me, if you had to meet my instructor, he would say I was probably the most chattiest because even in university and school, I asked a ton of questions because I always want to have the most amount of advice and things that I want to know about the car so that I don't get into a test not knowing what I'm doing. And the last that I'll give you, again, I'm going to sound so nerdy, <laughs> but I actually, after every single lesson that I had with my driving instructor, I just made notes on my phone in my Samsung's note app of different things that I learned. So I will actually, if you guys want that, just DM me on Instagram and I can definitely send you a PDF version of it. That's basically what I did. I made like proper study notes, which I could have gone through after each lesson and before my test and that made me feel a whole lot better so that is the story and the tips that i have for you guys for getting your license trust me you guys will get it eventually don't put so much of pressure on yourself and honestly just enjoy the experience of driving and eventually reaching that end goal of freedom hope that you guys enjoyed the video and you found it really helpful don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and hope that you guys have a wonderful week filled with lots of love happiness light positivity and good driving love you guys bye